Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to quickly compare the new at if syntax for conditional rendering in Angular with its predecessor ngif. So the new at if syntax is way less verbose and much more intuitive. It reads just like plain JavaScript. If you have coded in JavaScript or TypeScript before, you will immediately understand the syntax. The syntax doesn't need any special type of imports in your templates. It's immediately available to be used. And as we have seen, it supports this case with if, else if, else. So that is supported by at if, but this else if use case is not supported by ng if. Also, we no longer have to use this star ng if this uh, slightly quirky and uh, strange looking syntax, we don't need to use it. At if it's much easier to understand and reason about. Just like in the case of ng4 versus at4, the same migration here, this migration with ng generate angular core control flow, this is going to migrate all your ng if usages in your templates to at if automatically. This should work for most of the cases. You might still have to migrate some corner cases yourself manually, but the migration should take care of most of the work for you. So without further ado, let's continue exploring more control flow alternatives in Angular. Let's talk about at switch.